Hello mermaids! It's Serafina Delirium and happy fall y'all. So it is fall weather, spooky season, September. It's spooky September and I hope you're you're here for it. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're loving the pumpkins and the pies. Well not pies yet, but the pumpkins and the ghosts and <laughs> the leaves and the chilly air. Oh my gosh. It got hot. It was hot one day and the next day it was chill. It was chills and it was wind and it was rain and I was like, what happened to summer? It's gone. I miss it. I love summer. I do. I think it's probably my favorite, but I do like fall. So it's fall, y'all, and there's a southern girl right here in front of you getting ready to make another video. Here we go. So I'm wearing the same shirt that I have for the past two other videos and that's because it's the same day or the same night. It's dark outside. It's nighttime. It's, it's 9 o'clock at night, and I'm here, I'm doing this, I don't know why, but I was like, let's make another video, let's do this. So I have some stuff on my desk, and this is like a project pan. What I'm using up right now, I'm just going to show you everything that I'm using up now, including my bath stuff, or my shampoos and stuff. So I hope you're here for it, I'm here for it, let's get this done. Alright, so first up I have makeup. I'm going to show you my makeup. So what I use today is so simple, it's so basic. I'm wearing two things on my nails, two different colors, because I wanted to paint, you know, do a whole, like, spread, like, blue, brown, red, light pink stuff. But I'm only wearing two different shades right now. So, the first one is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in 507 Time to Indigo. And that's on my thumbs. And I like it. It's pretty. I like that blue. And the other one is 413 Espresso, also by Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And that's what's on the rest of them. So I like this color a lot. And then I'll be wearing some other ones like 193 Slick Slate and 213 Mauvet as well as 233 Petal Pusher. And I really like these shades. I'm going to be doing a like different chrome tone, multi-tone nail spread. So I'm looking forward to that. And for my makeup today I'm wearing one thing and it is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. It's in 001 Fair, and I like this. Um, that's all, it's on my face, really. My eyeliner is today, it's Koki Professional Precise Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Ultimate Black, which is like a pen eyeliner. And then my mascara is the Essence Cosmetics Lash Princess, and this is the Ariel Waterproof Mascara. For my lips, I did use this today. It's the Chapstick and Pumpkin Pie. I love it. Spooky Season Chapstick. I have like four or five of those. And then right now I'm using the Milani, Milani Cosmetics Color Fetish Lipstick. It's in 110 Lustful and it is this shape. And there's this much left. So I love this. This is my favorite. This will be a repurchase. I love the nudes. I have several nude lipsticks right now though, so I need to use those first. But this is wonderful. I, I love this. I recommend it. So all of my makeup is, like my current Use Me First makeup, is in this organizer. And I'm going to put it right back where it was when I'm done. And then I have another box in front of me with other stuff I'm using or like bath stuff. So let's get through makeup first. I have everything organized and I pretty much only use the same stuff over and over until it's finished. Until I open, open something else because I'm very like particular about keeping it clean and keeping things minimal because you get stressed out when you have everything open. If you just use one thing at a time, it does help save money too because um, makeup can get old and it expires and people use it, you know, beyond that point. But I'm just very like hygienic, health conscious, and also use, use the first thing open first. FIFO first in, first out. That was our rule at Sheets, but I did that far. I, doing that my whole life. If you open one product, you use that product until it's gone and then you get another one or you open another one. But anyways, let's get into this. I'm going to start with lipsticks since I just told you my favorite lipstick, which is the Milani Color Fetish. Um, and then I have another one that I need to use besides the pumpkin chapstick. I don't want to use it up, but it's happening. Um, I have this Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. It's a creme lipstick. It's 725. Love that red. I love this red. It's beautiful very much love this. I'm going to go ahead and do swatches on my jewelry arm. So there's 725 Love That Red by Lev Revlon. Love this. Definitely a date night lipstick. Here's the Milani Color Fetish in 110 Lustful. Beautiful nude shade. 
Definitely love that. I will repurchase that at the first opportunity. Up next, I have this one I'm still using up. This is the Maybelline um, Color Sensational. Yes, Color Sensational by Maybelline. This is 635, very cherry. And there's still a good amount left, but not really that much. If I keep using this, I will get it done. So there is very cherry, and it's a good dupe of the Revlon. It's not as good as the Revlon. The Revlon is very good red lipstick, but that one's pretty good. This one can break if I'm not careful. Like you can see how it's kind of like slanted, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So I have to put it on, like apply it flat. Not like this, but like flat. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Nourishing Lipstick. It's in Sugar Plum. I'm not a big huge fan of this, but it's definitely an autumn shade. I have to be careful when I apply it because it'll break right off. It's kind of leaning again, you know. So I'm trying to use that up and pan it. I have used it recently because it's a good fall color. Up next I have this. It's also from the Color Fetish Collection by Milani. Um, this is in 170 Kink and it's more of a sheer lipstick. Um, I would use this as a lip balm. There's a lot left of this. It's almost like a full container. Um, and I opened it because I was hoping that it would be pigmented, but it's really not. It's definitely a sheer shade. And here's the nude. It's pigmented. That's, um, 110 Lustful. And this is 170 Kink. But we're gonna use it because it's very light. It's not an in-your-face purple. It's just very light. So you feel comfortable with it. Like me, I used to like reds, but now I'm really liking the nudes. I feel like as I get older, I'm approaching 30 and above. So I just feel like the nudes work for me better. They make me feel more confident in my own skin, more comfortable, instead of like this bright red shade that I'm just like, is this okay? I don't feel comfortable, you know, but I feel comfortable with those. This is a um, Photo Ready Concealer by Revlon. I just showed that to you earlier. So it looks like a lipstick, but it's not. Um, next I have the Sugar Cosmetics Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in 28 Honey Rider. And it's getting smaller. You have to sharpen it. So I'm just trying to sharpen it and use it up so it'll take up less space. The other ones that I have, I have three more um, in this collection by Sugar Cosmetics. And they're much longer. I've never used them before, but I've been using this one up. So there's this whole nother, like, bunch of lipstick left in here. But this is 28 Honey Rider. I love the name that it's matte as hell. That's so cool. So it, it gets a little messed up very easily if you're not careful applying it but there's a swatch of it and I'll just smooth this out so you can kind of see I'll just use that lipstick up see there it is smooth it out right there and it's a very pretty shade I like that shade a lot it's almost like a red but it's not a red well it is a red but it's more of like a a nudish red almost but it's just it's pretty so let me pause this and I'll clean my finger off yeah I'm gonna have to say like a brick red almost like the other ones are vibrant bright reds and then this one you have like a brick red I don't really know how to explain it so my last lip product is well technically is the Rimmel London stay glossy and this is in 130 blushing Belgrave I had to write it on the back because it's not written on the container which really irritates me it's not on the container so I looked it up and I found it. it's 130 blushing Belgrave and a Be and Belgrave is a city I can't remember where but I will put that down below so this is Rimmel London and it's down to here and this it doesn't really like I don't like the smell like you, you think something's gonna taste good because it smells good I don't like it it's it's very like I mean it's not bad it just smells like a very cheap lip gloss you're very cheap thing and I just don't like this I would declutter this if someone wanted it even though it's a nude it's it's a pretty shade I just don't like the way it smells all right so let's get into eyeliners because these are multi sticks by wet n wild and they can be used as a lipstick or a lip liner or an eyeliner um I sold the rest of the collection I already sold them as a lot and I kept these. These are Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi Sticks. These are the only two that I kept because they would make good lipsticks. I like the color of both of them. They're pigmented, they make good lipsticks. And I also use them as eyeliners. I don't use them as eyeshadows because they smear and they crease. I don't recommend them for that. But I like them as liners, thick, thick liners, and lipsticks. 
wonderful shades of lipstick. This one is 258A Lavender Bliss. And I, I like this a lot. So here's Lavender Bliss. I love that. And then we have 259A Not So Calm Waters, which is a blue lipstick. And I'm going to be Corpse Bride for Halloween so I can use this in my costume. I love that blue as a lipstick or liner. Now I also have some blue eyeliners as well. I have a purple and a green and two blues. And these are my fancy eyeliners, my fancy pants eyeliners. I'd love to have orange and red, but this one, this is LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner, and this is in, oh, I almost dropped it, GP705 Tropical. I like tropical. Let's swatch tropical for you right here. There's my light blue eyeliner. It looks very nice, I think. It's a nice little blue shade. And then I have this one by Lovecraft Beauty. I also got this in Knox, but this is Radical. I got it from Ipsy. I had Knox. It was almost black. I hated Knox. It's in the cell pile. If you are interested in it, um, I will link my Mercari down below, and you can buy it by itself or in a lot. But this one is Radical. I like this one. It's like a lime green yellow. And there it is right there. Oops. I like this one. I use it sometimes. I got it last year for uh, in October 2021 for the Ipsy Glam Bag. It was a pretty wicked glam bag. These next two are the LA Colors Neon Gel Eyeliners and I have purple which is Enchanted and I have light blue which is Wonder. Now the purple or Enchanted is right there. Nice purple there. And then we have Wonder which is a blue it's a little lighter than my other blue, and they go really well together. It also would work well with this multi-stick. So if you want to do a blue look, I've got all of my makeup for Halloween ready. I do have some spatulas that I use for panning stuff. Um, here's a pink one, and this, this set of green and um, purple came together. There's another pink one in the kitchen, but I have the small one for makeups. Okay, eyeliner. I'm using one eyeliner. I'm trying to use it till it dies, and this is the one that I showed you earlier. It's the Koki Professional Precise Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Ultimate Black. And we have our bloop, black line there. It's it's a little thicker than I'd like it to be, um, especially if like you can't get the cat eye or the pinup look. It's it's got to be a point, very precise point. And this is not precise anymore. <laughs> it's getting older. I've had it about a year. And then we have our Essence Cosmetics Lash Princess Ariel False Lash Effect Mascara in Waterproof. And I love her. She's more amazing. But it's not the same as it was because I've had it quite a while. Um, so this just needs to be used up and then replaced. And the current replacement I have for it is the Tarte Tartus it's Travel Size Lash Paint. It's very small. This is 2 milliliters versus 12 milliliters but this one's running out I can tell and then this one is really good right now it's nice this one will clump your lashes but this one will pull them apart and make sure every single one is coated evenly and make them look bigger and thicker this one is starting to clump up I used to love it but I think I just loved it because it had a mermaid on it up next I have a no-name perfume. I took the label off because we're not giving that company any recognition, but I do have their perfume. I don't like their perfume at all. It smells like an old lady Estee Lauder perfume. <laughs> I hope that didn't offend anybody. I think people are just so used to calling them old lady perfumes so that it's just become second nature. I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more of a synthetic, strong smell, like a musky. I just don't like it. Um, I love this. I have an... I haven't opened this yet. Hold on one sec. I've got a screamer. Okay, mermaids, all good. My little guy just had to pee in the potty and I had to help him do that. It's it's nine o'clock at night, so he really needs to go to bed, but usually we don't get to bed till like ten, so it's alright. We're good. We're okay. Alright, so next up I was showing you the Skylar. I've been trying so hard to get on their PR list, and they keep ignoring me, guys. So it kind of makes me think less of them as a brand, that they ignore their customers. Because I have bought from them and really advertised for Skylar Clean Beauty. 
so I'm a little disappointed. Although the scents are amazing, I think they're getting a little too big for their britches because their perfume's so good and they're just getting a little cocky. Um, but the perfume is amazing. This is in Vanilla Sky. I had Fall Cashmere. It was about half as big as this. I wanna, it was a rollerball. And then this one I got from Ipsy as well. I got them both from Ipsy. But I, we paid for this one. Uh, it, was, it was on sale for like $12 or $13. This is our 10 milliliter rollerball. And it's amazing. It smells like pumpkin. Like a really good pumpkin latte with lots of pumpkin cream and milk or or definitely vanilla because it's vanilla sky and I know that it pairs well with fall cashmere and I love them both I would love a whole bottle but I'm just a little mad at the brand the perfume is amazing but the brand I'm a little hurt me I'm a little butt hurt guys okay so up next we have this is an eye primer I just sold two of these actually I didn't need the um replace like I didn't need any more. I have one. It's the Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. It's in one shade. I'm pretty sure there aren't any other shades of this. But I use this every time I do fancy eye makeup, which I'm not wearing right now. This is just eyeliner. There's no primer or anything. This is just my face. Um, this, is just, this is just my face, guys. This is it. You're looking at it. <laughs> so up next we have this. I have hit pan in it. Very proud of myself. This is the Inmo Cosmetics Velveteen Dream Shadow. It's a single shadow in Hot Girl Summer. And I was a hot girl this summer because I wore this a lot. I've worn it so much I've hit pan in it and I will keep wearing it into the fall months. And see if see if I don't drop it in the floor. I caught it. Cat skills. Cat reflexes. Alright, I'm dropping stuff so much. Dropping it like it's hot because it's hot girl summer that my reflexes are getting good. Alright, so hot girl summer is being used and loved. Up next we have this. This is a little bit darker. It's a primer by Believe Beauty. And this is in the color, it's a brighten up, see I dropped that in my lap, brighten up color correcting concealer in light or medium. I am not medium, I am light, 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 white girl. And this is a little dark for me. I tried to use it underneath, but I think it would be better over top as a primer. Um, eye primer, and that's what I'll do um, when the stuck on you runs out, or if I just get sick of it. Um, I have these next things, I need to make videos with them. I think I might use them together and just combine it. Um, they have fortune cookies attached. So this is the Shades by Sean. Um, it's a dual, like mini eyeshadow duo thing. It came from Ipsy again last year and I never used it. So we have Mommy, M-A-M-I, Mommy, and Hexed, like cursed. Um, so I have these two. I'm pretty sure Mommy is on this one, the shimmery one shimmery gold and then we have a nude um he nude tone and hex so those i need to do videos with and they're coming up next and then we have a violet voss single shade eyeshadow in bear it all b-a-r-e and it's a little bit darker of a gold like it's not as light gold it's more of a darker like gold gold ancient uh ancient roman gold um, I don't like that one as much as the Shades by Sean, but I like the idea that it's Violet Voss, and I do want to use it, so I think I'll just use those together and see how they look. Alright, so up next I have this. This is empty once again. Um, it's just a container for I can for using like what's left of a lip gloss or a chapstick um, or a lipstick. I can put it in there. I did mix my own lipstick in this. But I did not like that it stained, because it was by Wet n Wild, it stained. It was uh, Fuchsia with Blue Pearl, like a really cheap lipstick. It was terrible, and it just took over everything else. And so I just scraped it out and threw everything away. But this is the container, and I can use a container for something. Let me put it right there. Okay, so up next I have this. This is my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. And this is in 001 Transparent. I use this a lot. I hit pan in it, and we're still using it up love it it's a go-to up next i have the la colors it's from the fruity fun collection i have all four palettes plus an extra berry kiss this is the regular berry kiss it's the first one i got it came broken and i fixed it so it's their berry kiss eye palette i love it i use look use this for looks all the time just to get it used i like the um, nude tones the best and um i i like the purple and the pink the berry and the pink they're okay and they look good with the new tones. But I like this one a lot and this one. I like these two mattes a lot. I don't like the darker ones as much. These dark reddish berries and then this brown. But I will use them. 
I have another thing right here. This is the Milani um, Rose Powder Blush in 05 Coral Cove. And I use this. I don't use it as often as I should. I have two other Milani blushes, Tea Rose and Blossom Time Rose, and they've never been opened. Um, if you saw my um, Shop My Stash with me, my last ones with my entire inventory, you'd see all my blushes. It's a lot. And I'm still stuck on this one. This one blush. And um, I've made a dent in it, but... Alright, so I have two more palettes, and these are just palettes I need to use up. I've almost hit pan in this NYX Ultimate Edit Petite Palette. This is in Brights. I've almost hit pan in a couple of them. Um, this blue, this pink, and this orange, and the yellow. The yellow looks like it's really close to, so four shades. Blue, pink, orange, and yellow. I've almost hit pan. They're getting there. They've got dents in them, um, but I'm still using it. I need to use it up. A little bit more and then this one is older like 2015 I might declutter it at some point I don't know yet but it's the um, Lancome Paris color design palette um, and it says blush but there's no blush in here that's a powder that's definitely a powder not a blush um, this is from the holiday 2015 beauty box so that's in there as a use me up all right so that's all my makeup let me put it back and then I'll show you my other stuff well, there's more makeup in the other one, but it's not. I mean, it's together with the... whatever. <laughs> okay, mermaids, so I have put everything away with my makeup, and I'm going to grab this box with the um, shampoos and moisturizers and stuff like that. So let's grab this. It's over here on the side. Whoa. Okay, so here's everything in my second box. Let's get into this. Let me put it right here. So I have this. I know it's kind of distracting. You see everything. Let me try to put it in my lap. Okay. Let's see how this works. That's right there. Is that distracting? Okay. So first up we have this. This is my Herbal Essences Bio Renew. It's Argan Oil Repair um, Conditioner. And it's got a pump. And I love the pump. So I've got the lines here of the progress. And I'm down to the bottom here. I love this. I'm going to reuse this container. This is really great. It smells great. I love the Argan Oil. And I like the dark blue bottle. Um, and then I have this. It's a Herbal, Nessus, Herbal Essences Bio Renew with Coconut Milk Hydrating Conditioner. Um, so this is 13.5 fluid ounces. And it's full. I've never used it. And the big one was 20.2 um, fluid ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottle and I'm going to fill this one up. I might just put it on top of the other conditioner. Because what it's doing is it's taking the conditioner from the bottom... So if I put the other conditioner on top of it, it'll still get used second. Like, I don't have to wait until this is empty to put um, the new conditioner on top. It's the same brand anyway. So I really like the pump, and I'm just going to use this and just keep using this container because it has the pump on it. And then that really helps me to use every bit of any conditioner or shampoo that I'm using. I can just use that bottle. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. Um, I can just reuse it and then recycle the other bottles, you know. Alright, and then this is for my youngest, or just my kids in general. This is the Always My Baby 2-in-1 Baby Wash and Shampoo. And it's, can you see the line? The line is right here. Uh, I got this at either Food Lion or Walmart. But yeah, this is pretty good. It's 15 fluid ounces. So we're working on this, using it up. And then I have this. This is my body wash. This is so cute. I love the name. I got this at Ollie's. It's the Spoiled Rotten Clean Up Your Act bubbly body wash and it's down to this second line right here and it's just cute I haven't been able to find this online anywhere it's four fluid ounces I love the container so cute so I've got a little bit left and I can probably get two or three uses out of that I'll probably split it up into two um, uses maybe one if I just need it and then I have this this is Airwick VIP rosy starlit pre poop oil spray and it's probably down to like the top of the commode right here somewhere in here I really like this stuff I will pick up another bottle when I'm able it's like up front at my local Walmart or you have to order it online which is what I did with this one it's 1.8 fluid ounces and I love this for bathrooms it's great stuff. Um, I love it. It's like a pumpkin spice flavor, just for fall. Not a flavor. Oh my god, don't eat it. <laughs> I draw my hairbrush. Don't worry about that. It's always falling in the floor. And then I have my secret. It's Rose Clear Gel, 48 hour clear gel deodorant. This is 2.6 ounces. I really like this. I got like three or four of them by accident. I thought they were solid, but they're not. They're gel. They're basically liquid. And what you do is 
What you do is you don't do that. You don't put the lid in the floor. Okay, so what you do is you take this and you just roll it up and then you have like a little bit of gel at the top. And you put that on your in your armpits. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay, I'm going to put this lid on without <laughs> messing it up. All right, so I really, I mean, I like it. It's secret. It's better than suave, that's for sure. And then I have this. When I take my makeup off, I'm going to put this on my face again. This is the Epion Beverly Hills Flawless Serum. It's one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. And it's fancy girl stuff. This is like a... Um, um, silicone barrier that you put on your skin and it helps prevent like wrinkles and aging and stuff and I like it I put it on my neck my decollete decollete um, and my forehead and I, I like it I like it I think it's working I will not buy this again um, because it's 150 bucks or I can get it on Mercari for like less than 40 I can give her 20 to 40 dollars which is good I can get this again if I want to so that's a good thing I might do that I might buy it online on Mercari yes um, but it says apply during evening to affected area or is directed by physician. Yeah, I will probably buy it on Mercari. I do like it. And then I have this. I haven't used it yet, but it's sitting here to remind me to stop using baby wipes on my face and start using actual cleansers because that would be helpful, right? So if I have a bath night or a self-care, I'll make sure to use a cleanser, a bath bomb, face mask, things like that. But I haven't been doing that lately. I have been kind of putting that last uh, self-care because I have so much to do. Um, but this is the Perlice Watermelon and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. Um, it gently cleanses skin, removes makeup, and purifies, purifies and energizes. It's for all skin types. It's one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. That's funny, like this one is one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters, and it just seems like there's more in this because the bottle is made different. But yeah, it's watermelon. I like the packaging. It's very summery, and I need to use it. I need to use it. Beauty through Asian wisdom, Perlice. Love it. Okay, so I have a sunscreen here. I'm going to mark it really quick so you can see. Oh my gosh, where is my silver Sharpie? Where is it? Where did it go? I'm looking. I'm digging. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to... No, there it is. I see it. Let me mark right here. Okay, there's a little bit of air there, so I'm going to put it right here. There's my mark. Boop. So this is about down to this line right here. That's how much sunscreen I have left. This much was pretty much air when I got it. It came in a kit. When I got my chest piece fixed, um, I got this huge kit of stuff um, for my new tattoo. Because it, it, it had been worked on the first time. It was just an onk with crazy wings that I designed myself and then I got like the outline done for what I want to do and then I finished it so it took like three takes to get it right um so anyway I got this when I fixed it before I fixed it and I got the set and this is the tattoo goo renew tattoo enhancing lotion with SPF 30 it revives older tattoos and keeps tattoos vibrant it's two ounces so I'm just using this up as sunscreen I put it on my chest I also put it on my arms because I have like one right here it's not much, it's just one thing, but I'll just use this as sunscreen over my legs and arms because it's 30, SPF 30, and you might as well just use it if you got it. Sunscreen is sunscreen. And then I have these, they just go on my toes when I paint my toesies, my paint my piggies. And I have this shot glass that I never use for anything other than keeping like, um, what are these called again? Swabs and tweezers. They have the, the Vintage Cosmetic Company tweezers. These are really good. Um, these used to be... I don't know what brand these are, but I've used them for everything, so they're kind of wearing out. But these new ones by the Vintage Cosmetic Company, I love these tweezers. They're great. And then, of course, I have my cute little orange fingernail clippers with the orange on it. And I have this silica gel, do not eat. It's kind of a passing joke because my mom has this story when I was a kid. You know those things in your shoes that say do not eat? Sarah ate them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> toddlers, man, toddlers. Now I understand. So this is a shot glass. It has my youngest son's name on it. But this is with a C-E on the end. So it just says Dallas, like Dallas, Texas. So I keep that for stuff. And that's it. That's what I'm panning, really. I have a bunch of nail polish, too. But right now, the nail polish I'm focusing on is what I want. So this one could be panned. This is a Sally Hansen Insta Dry uh, 213 Mauvet. And it's about halfway done. I love Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I have a ton of them. Um, and... And then my uh, clear coat, or my base coat, it's Paparazzi by CVS Beauty, and it needs to be used up, because it's like a mix of this 
and Ciate London, like an old Ciate London nail polish. I just threw it in here. So it's kind of like foggy in the bottle. But yeah, I'll use this up ASAP. It's what I'm working on now. And that's it. That's it. That's my um, Use Me First project panning video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm done. I'm losing my voice and I'm exhausted. It's 9.34, so I'm going to go get my kid and take my makeup off. And he can help me with everything. And we'll get to bed. Well, thank you, mermaids, so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic mermaiding day. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Like my video. Just a little tender, loving, care, like. And subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this one, just go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate you so much. I really, really do. And I hope you have a fantastic mermaiding day. And I'll see you next time. Bye, mermaids.